Hello everyone, I'm here to share another one of my hybrid folios. This is a Christmas version. Um, this is using my brand new paper collection, uh, A Very Merry Christmas. You can find this digitally in my shop right now. And if you're looking for the hard copy, uh, that'll be available sometime in early December. All right, so uh, check it out how beautiful this paper is, guys. It's really gorgeous. And I have so many surprises inside this particular uh, folio here. So really cute on the cover. Uh, we've got a beautiful sentiment here and some fun little inserts with the uh, some fun little embellishments here that are loose that you can pull out and play with. So it makes it really fun. And then we open it up. And we have got a pocket here. <laughs> Excuse me. We've got a pocket on the inside cover. Look at that paper. How gorgeous that is. Uh, you can take this further by creating a slit here and creating an insertion point there. You can add some more embellishments there. So we've got, uh, this is a 8 by 10 photo mat, but I did two 4 by 6 photos. So look at how pretty that is. So that goes inside Get two of those, one in each pocket, and of course, smaller, your four by six photo mats as well. This is what I'm excited about. So this is a brand new page style for you guys in this folio. I want to show you what it is. It's a Christmas tree. It's so cute. And you have room for, uh, obviously, photos within the pockets. And then you have room for stuff in the background, in the back. All right, so you have a lot of room. Just because we have this Christmas tree here doesn't mean that it takes away from your memory keeping capabilities. So it works out really, really well. And not only is the page adorable, but the paper is gorgeous. I'm in love with it. So I'm not happy with the star. It really calls for a larger star, but I don't want it sticking out of my, my album. So even when I lower it, I'm just, I'm probably just going to bite the bullet and get over it. But it really calls for the larger star right around there. But it will stick out your book, guys, all right, if you use a larger star. This one just looks so dinky, but it doesn't stick out my book. All right, so, and I'm, I don't like when things are sticking out my, my projects because they get beat up. It may look cute, but it's not practical, right? So here, and next, my next video will be, uh, a project with, um, why is this not fitting in here? What's happening? Oh, wrong photo mat. This way. My bad. Uh, it will be an album with everything sticking out. So this particular folio you can find in Project 365 Quarter two, 3. Quarter 3. Quarter 3. I almost said it wrong. But don't worry about it. You don't have to remember that. I will link you down below in the description box. Just look for a tutorial and you'll see the link to the shop for you to pick it up. Look at these beautiful embellishments here. All the embellishments come with the paper collection. The paper is stunning. I mean, stunning. Look at this. There's beautiful detail in the paper. And this folio is just dynamite. So Project 365, quarter three. Uh, you get three folio styles in quarter three. Uh, this is just one of the styles. Uh, so this here, we've got this super cute uh, snow globe, room for four by six photos. This opens up like so. So more room for four by six photos. This pocket here for four by six photos. Beautiful areas for paper. So again, that perfect, perfect marriage between paper and photo. So there's lots and lots of room here. So really nice cluster of embellishments here. I love the way that looks. You can even take it a step further and stick a photo back there if you want to. Uh, all sorts of things that you can do. You can probably do two if you want to. All right. But again, you want to be careful. You never want, you never ever want to overstuff an album. Look at how cute this is. Well, first of all, look at these embellishments, how gorgeous these are. They're so so beautiful. Look at this tree. Uh, four by six photos here. We've got an insertion point right here with this fabulous little uh, border. You open that up. Some more uh, beautiful embellishments and photo areas. So really gorgeous. The paper is so much fun. It's very, it's an easy breezy Christmas collection. It's not 
way too vintagey. It's not way too modern. It's just right in the middle for those simple pictures, those annual pictures that we take every single year in front of the tree, opening gifts. Uh, it's just, it's perfect, guys. It's perfect for kids, adults. You're just, you're going to love it. It's going to work for every, every Christmas setting, okay? So another fun page here. So we've got a pocket here. Well, this is actually not a pocket. This is, I made an insertion point there. All right, so photo mat. And then you've got all of these fun, fun uh, places for photos. And of course, you've got your pocket over here because I couldn't leave you without a pocket, right? So you've got back here. So this closes up, opens up like so. This closes up, closes up, and boom. So a really fun uh, array of photo mats here. Five by seven fits here. And below, you can even put an eight by 10 if you want to. You will lose the page design if you do have those, the need for the eight by 10, but you can do it if you want to. Another fun page. So I did two really fun theme pages in this one. I just had a blast with this one too. So this is a, a house as you can see, but it is also a photo mat. Okay, it's got the shaker element that we all love. And this one, accordions open. Look at how cute, room for your four by six is of course. And you can get 12 pictures in here. All right, six on the front, six in the back, and you just keep on going, keep on flipping until you're done. So look at how fantastic that is. I just, I love the way this turned out. I think it's just perfect, perfect, perfect. And then a play on the door here, we've got a photo mat and one of the fabulous embellishments that you find in the collection. So all really cute things, guys. So, 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 so cute. So this opens up to, to another fabulous page display. So this opens here, and I didn't put white photo mats here, but it's picture, picture, opens here, and then it opens up again, and that's just for pictures, okay? Opens up again. Here we've got a fabulous envelope for pictures, photo mats, okay? You have the same thing on the opposite side. Again, flip, flip, and up, whoopsie, and up and then your envelope once again. So really cute, a fun, fun folio. I really love the way this one turned out. Um, I also, I did wanna say something about this page. Oh, your your flap closures, you can find these also in, on my website, all right? On my website, you can find them all. And then we get to the very end, which is so sad. Another one of these fun uh, photo uh, flap pages. So that opens up like so. You get a really nice balance between portrait and uh, landscape photo here. So I'm just in love with the way this uh, folio turned out. And the paper just also makes it absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Be sure to leave me a comment. And let me know what you think. Um, you're going to want to pick up quarter three. If you've been making hybrid uh, hybrid folios with me, and you've been, you did quarter one, quarter two, this is quarter three, you're going to really love this quarter. It has a lot of versatility. Um, this one, not so much because there are theme pages in here, like this Christmas one and this one over here. But this one could be anything. It doesn't have to be Christmas. But the tree, mm, pretty Christmassy. But the other two in the quarter are pretty fabulous. And you'll see those in videos coming up. I don't know if I showed you the back of this, but it is gorgeous. I mean... I'm just in love with how this turned out. So the paper collection, once again, is A Very Merry Christmas. And this is Project 365, Quarter 3. And um, you can get everything on my website. And I'll link you down below for your convenience. Most importantly, I started my Black Friday sale. All right. And you can get 65% off of this and the digital paper collection if you want to if you want to pick it up. So this is the code that you want to type in uh, at checkout, BF65OFF, -F, so Black Friday 65 off. All right, so enjoy that Black Friday sale. I hope it helps you guys to pick up other tutorials that you may have wanted in the past, but you know, you couldn't fit it in. Hopefully you'll be able to fit it in with this. So happy Black Friday to you all. 
Uh, this sale will be on through the end of the month. Um, but I encourage you not to wait till the end because it just gets pretty dicey when everybody hits the website. All right. So enjoy that discount code. If you make this and you pick up the paper and you love it, please let me know. I would, I would love to hear your opinion on it. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. And until next time.